Yesterday, I received uh, my Flipper Zero and unboxed it. I wasn't able to use it because it needed a storage media and SD card. So today I went to Best Buy and got one. Uh, so in order to use it, we needed a storage. So now that I have it, I have to turn it on. We can just uh, hold the return button for three seconds to start. And that's it. So whenever you start it, you don't have an SD card in storage media, it's gonna say that it needs an SD card. So I'm gonna just insert the SD card that I bought. Okay, it says all data will be stored on SD card, okay. And there is no data is found on SD card because I haven't used it yet. So uh, after this, okay, it gives me a link. Go to flip.dev uh, slash upd in order to for further instructions. And it's just resting for now. How cool is that? So I have to update the firmware of this Flipper Zero. Uh, there are two ways to do it either you connect it to your uh, pc and update it or you can download the mobile application of the flipper zero uh, that's available on google play and app store so i have downloaded the flipper zero application and now i have to connect it, this one via bluetooth with the application for that i just need to go to settings and bluetooth and it should be on which is on for me and I have to connect it, and then through the application, uh, I can update the firmware. And after this, you're gonna see the screen recording of my phone. So the firmware was uh, successfully updated or the firmware was installed and updated here on the Flipper Zero. So now that I have successfully updated the firmware and the Flipper Zero is ready to use, uh, I have to install some apps and everything on it. And that will be for this video. And I'm gonna keep you posted on what else I'm gonna do with this Flipper Zero. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.